My people stuck in their ways, denying the power and busy refusing to change. They charge it all to the game, but we got the keys that we need to open them gates. They taking drugs for the pain, the pills and the lean and the weed, they been hitting the same. They say it pours when it rains, the fire from heaven is drowning the city in flames. Cause we never sleep, and this war that we fighting is not for the weak. And we got the power to burn on the tower, if we talking about scriptures, we arm to the teeth. Cause we never sleep, and this war that we fighting is not for the weak. And we got the power to burn on the tower, if we talking about scriptures, we arm to the teeth, okay. okay, okay, you know the prophets, we don't play, I see a king when I look in the mirror, and y'all niggas yoga like yo play, we playing chess when we bliss in these churches, then we look at them like yo play, my people sleep on the God, but he wake them up with the prophets like obey, and y'all better wake up, they said they lying on Jacob, me and my sin had to... No, what the word revelation means? Revelation means to reveal, to reveal something, and so... Make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, read. read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Which God showed unto Christ. Right? To show unto the servants of God. Now, the servants of God don't know what Christ looked like. That's why the records are there. In the last days, so that we could come back to the remembrance that Christ is a black man. In the last days, they give us this white image. What is white image? Right? I used to think so too. Right? But this is to deceive us. This image is white supremacy. Now the question is, okay, the people, the, 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 this race of people enslave us for hundreds of years. How the hell they could turn back and save us? That's right. Huh? Think about it. And when you check when you check the lifestyle of the people that follow this image, what kind of lifestyle is it? Isn't it contrary to God's law? It's Sodom and Gomorrah. You understand? Right? That's right. When, when you live contrary to the scriptures, that is your God. You serve it that God. That is a sacrifice unto this God. What? Go ahead. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Right. And he sent and signified by his angel unto his servant John, who will be a record of the word of God. So John bear the record of the words of God. So the Bible is the words of God. Read. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. So the Bible is also the testimony of Jesus Christ. Read. And of all things that he saw. So John wrote what he saw. Read verse 3. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. So you must read. That's what the scriptures say. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If you read the Bible, constantly read the Bible, you're going to cast down all the lies that the, our oppressor taught us with the false religion. Read. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. So we must hear the prophecies in the Bible. Read. And keep those things which are written therein. So we must keep all what is written in the Bible. Read. For the time is at hand. So judgment is about to come. Christ is ready to set up his kingdom. Read. Read verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So in the midst of the seven candlesticks. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, this, this is it, seven candlesticks, right? In the midst of the seven candlesticks, read. One like unto the Son of Man. So Christ is the Son of a Man, right? Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So Christ is not a puff of smoke, he's not a spirit. He has a body, that's why he has a garment. That's what John saw. Okay? Read. And God above the paths of the golden girl. So Christ had a golden belt around his waist. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now John giving the description of Christ's head. He said his hairs on his head were white like wool. Now white in color, wool in texture. But when you look at, at this image, that man here is straight. Right? So only one race of people that have one type of people that have woolly hair. Right? Woolly hair is what? tie up here so yeah like sheep here exactly so that shows that Christ is what a black man with woolly hair because a white man cannot have woolly hair he has straight blonde hair and so read his head and his hair were white like wool nappy hair 
as white as snow. As white as snow in color. Read. And his eyes was a flame of fire. Meaning the whites in his eyes became red because he used to drink wine. That's a prophecy. Right? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. So now John giving the description of Christ's feet. He said his feet is like unto fine brass. What's the color of brass? Yes, the metallic brass. The metallic kind of color. Huh? What's the color? No. Brown. Brass is brown. Something like copper. Right? Similar to copper. See, read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet is like the color of fine brass, which is brown. And he's going to tell you how dark it's going to be. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you burn brass in the fire, what color it becomes? Black. So right there you get the idea of the color of Christ's feet. So therefore, you're going to know what's the color of his face and his hands. So that's how we know that Christ is a black man. According to the Bible. You understand? But what happened? Our oppressor took crafty counsel to deceive us. Get that in Psalms for me. Crafty counsel. And then we're going to go Matthew chapter 24. Right? This is, what's, this is by design. Right? To keep us brainwashed. That's why today, our women and men, they're blonde in their hair and bleaching their skin. And that's, right? that's what you know all the day. Yeah, yeah, that's what I know all the It's a programming. Because even the smallest child would think that Christ is a white man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here, here what I say, verse 3. I know verse 3 verse 4. The book of Esau, 83 and verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So who have taken crafty counsel against thy people? The Pope. Pope Alexander VI. Right? He hired an uh, 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 artist, Leonardo da Vinci. To paint the, the likeness of his image of Christ, right? To make his son a God. Get that in Maccabees, okay? Right? Get that in Maccabees. I'm going to show you. So that's the crafty council that they take. And they whitewash everything. Right? During the Renaissance time when they came back in power. In 1453, they came with this image. Okay? What's Maccabees? 348. 348. Watch it. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. And they opened the book of the law, wherein the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. What did the heathen do? Brother, brother man, listen to me. Just pay attention, right? Read. Verse 48. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Why they do that? Because before, before they take all the images in the Bible, the Bible had black images. That's why they took it all. That's why they took the crafty, the crafty council to paint the likeness of the image, the, their image. That's why they give us a white image. So that is to brainwash us. So we will see them as God-chosen people and not yourself. Yeah, read Job 9.24. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. It's so, so the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who is the wicked? The Caucasian race. Right? They rule the earth through the European Union. America, England, Germany, Russia. They run the earth. They control the earth with the military power, the technology, by the finance, the economy, right? So that's how they run the earth. Huh? No, we, we were the first advanced people, right? We give the world wisdom, okay? Read. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? What happened when they came into power, they whitewashed everything. Okay, and they come with this false religion, with this white image. Okay, so that's why today our people thinking that them is Catholic, seven days. That is to keep us divided. Now, go, go back to um, Psalms 83. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So they took the crafty counsel to put us into slavery. And to take away everything from us, our heritage, our identity, our black Christ, and give us a white image to make us 
so and so to them. Read. And have consulted and have consulted against the hidden ones. We are the hidden ones. They whitewash everything. Read. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why today we're thinking we're Grenadian, because these names were given by our slave master during slavery. That's for us not to know that we are the children of Israel. Right? So go back to Matthew now. Watch this. But hear what Christ say, Matthew chapter 24. Then we're going to go with Revelation chapter 13, verse 14. So the scripture is going to clear up everything for us. You have no doubt about it. That's what the scripture say. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free from the damn lies that they, so, that they told us. Read. That's right. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So Christ said, Take heed in the last days, and let no man deceive you. Take heed to what? The Bible, the scriptures. Because the scriptures will reveal all the lies. It will expose all the lies. Right? You will know the truth. Read. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name. Say, I am Christ. So who is the man? Who is the man? He's talking about the Caucasian race. They come with all these different religions. Showing our people that them is Christ. And them is Christ's people. Okay? Read. Say, I am Christ and shall deceive many. So that's why today most of our people thinking that Christ is a white man. So we are deceived. Right? Read verse 24. Verse 24. For false, for there shall arise false Christ. So this is a false Christ. This is the image of the beast. This is the antichrist. This image. Right? Anti Christ means against Christ. Right? Read again. For there shall arise false Christ. So this is a false Christ. They crucify the image of Christ. They hide that image. Read. And false prophets. So the false prophets are these men. And also the pastors that run these churches. Right? Your seven day pastor. Your Catholic pastor. Your New Testament. Mormon, Baptist, all these false religions that they give us. These are the false prophets. Read. And shall show great signs and wonders. So they show great signs and wonders through the technology, through the movies. Right? Read. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So if it were possible, it would have deceived the elect. But no. But the elect would have taken it to the scriptures. So that's why it is impossible to deceive the elect. The elect would have stand firm on the scriptures. That Christ is a black man. That's right. That these are the records of Christ. Now go to Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 14. And deceive them that dwell upon the earth by the religion, by the technology, social media, by the movies. Okay? Passion of Christ. They have everything white. Black people is no way in the Bible. Read. And deceive them that dwell upon the earth by the means of those miracles. By the movies, right? Read. Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. The white man have that power, he have that knowledge, right? To do it in the sight of Rome, right? The beast. Read. Say to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. So they make an image. This is the image that they give us. If you go on Google, right? Just Google that man name. Caesar Bouger, right? Of Pope Alexander VI. And they give you the whole autobiography of this man. This man was only existed in the 1400s. He was a homosexual, this man. Right? He, he was also, he had sex with his sister. This man. But today we worship him as, as though he's a god. But he's the devil the Bible speaks about. That's right. Okay? Read. Verse 14. And deceive them that dwell upon the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Mm -hmm. Say to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had he, which had the womb by his soul and did live. And did live. He's talking about Rome when they came back in power in 1453. That's the Renaissance time. That's when they whitewashed everything. Get wisdom of Solomon chapter 14. The book of wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 and verse 16. 
Thus, in the process of time, an ungodly custom grew strong, was kept as a law. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 50. Yeah, this is my brother. Better man. Because they're lying for you. Study, put your focus on the scriptures. Yeah, my brother? You have a mind of your own thing. Don't let people, don't follow the crowd. Follow the scriptures. Right? But you know what they say? Hold on, don't let the woman take you away. Right? Read. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 15. For a father had afflicted with untimely mourning. So the father is Pope Alexander VI. Where is he here? Let me see if he's on that image here. Right? Pope Alexander VI. Right, this man here. Right? That white man here. Pope Alexander VI. Right? Read again. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, uh -huh. when he had made an image of his child, soon taken away. So his son died at the age, uh, I can't remember what age, 30 something. Right? So he, mo he was mourning. Right? He was, he was sad. So he, made, he called, he got the, uh, the artist to make an image of his son. Read. No, honor him as a god. So now in 2024, right, in the 20th century, they honor him as a god. Because when they go to the Catholic Church, they have him as a white image. They have him as a statue, as though he's a god. But that is idolatry, right? So they honor him as a god. Read. Which was then a dead man. So in his time, he was a, just a dead man, as everybody else. Okay, read. And deliver to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. So he was delivered unto the children of Israel because we were under them in, capti in captivity, right? And still is. Read. Thus, in the process of time. So it took a long period of time. That's why he said, thus, in the process of time. Read. And ungodly custom grew strong, was kept as a law. Right. So that's why he had us to worship. On a Sunday, they turn away from the Sabbath, right? Over a long period of time. Now it becomes the norm to worship on a Sunday. But when they worship on a Sunday, they worship in that image. Read. And graven images were worshipped by the commandments of the king. So they make it a law to worship that graven image of this white man. Yeah, yeah, but let me. Right. Go ahead. For 17. Who men could not honor in presence. So in that time, nobody knew he as Christ. Everybody knew that Christ is a black man at that time. Okay? Read. Because they dwell afar off. Uh -huh. They took the con counterfeit of his visage from far. So that's a counterfeit image from afar. Read. And made an express image of a king whom they honored. To the end that by their by this the forwardness they might flatter him as that was absent as if he were present. So they're trying to make this image as though he is God, he is Christ, right? As though he is he's present. That's why you see the worshiping him. Okay, go ahead. Also, the singular diligence of the artificial did help to set forward the ignorance to both superstition. So the artist, Leonardo da Vinci, right? He made different sketches and he gave the best sketch that looked like Cesar Bouget. Okay? So he, so with his skills, he helped for, push forward the ignorance of the people, right? Read. For he, peradventure, willing to please one in authority. Okay, okay. So what's the question? We'll, we'll come back. What's the question? So we know you had the diversity between Adventists and Christian Adventists and Catholic people. So why is it right there that says you watch it? The Sabbath day, which is the seventh day. Get Matthew chapter 28. You're going to, you have a first day and then you have a seventh day. Right? So, right. Seventh day is today. Sunday is the first day of the week. Right? But what happened in the process of time? They changed the names of the days. 
and they put pagan names with the days, like Sunday, sun worshippers, Monday, and it goes on, right? Saturday, the word Saturday come from the word what? Sabbath. In Spanish, the seven days what? In Spanish, Sabado. So it come from the word Sabbath. Sabbath means seven day, right? That's why he said, keep the Sabbath day holy. It means seven, the seven day. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 28 and verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath, in the end of the Sabbath, the seventh day, read. As it began to dawn towards the first day of the week. So the first day of the week is the Sunday, the day after Sabbath. After the Sabbath ends, the, the week starts again on the Sunday. Right? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord.